Man, bro, so let me tell you what had went down. And I was two bands away from getting, bro, a whole barbershop, bro. Yeah. Told my mama, bro, Peanut gonna call my phone talking about, I just got paid. I looked at the phone, you just got paid. What? Man, where the dice at? Mm. I'm ready to shoot. We can roll. Last time I shot with him, 1300 in my pocket. Easy. Off top. Off top. Easy. So what happened? What happened? Man, Peanut is what happened. Had me hot on my mama, hot. Seven, 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 seven. Back to back to back to back. Bro, I was mad. He was in, bro, he was all in my bag, in my pockets, in my whole Duffy. I was ready to get out. Basically what he is saying, he saved up his money to get a local barbershop. He then made a friendly business wager with Peanut in hopes to secure more money for his business. But eventually losing it all with one roll of the dice. Ray, what you think? I think volatility is his problem, and I don't think he understands how to compound his talent and how to compound his money. What I mean is, if you just take big bets like that, you'll blow it all. You, can, you should invest in yourself, man, and then you learn more, and then when you learn more, you also make more money, and it compounds. You could have two barber shops, you could have ten businesses, if you know how to compound. Basically, bro, what he's saying is, slow money wins the race. You can still have a big upside, even if you don't throw all your chips in the bag. Mm. Invest in yourself, leave them dice alone. You don't need to invest in the dice. That's gonna ruin everything. Spread your money out, let it build for yourself and work gradually, slowly. Anybody that's ever made a lot of money, they make it fast, you feel me? Feel you. Off top, PG Lane.